Okay, Rita is going to make some cheeseburgers for a party. So let's highlight this question, question 27. She buys some packets of cheese slices and boxes of burgers. There are 20 cheese slices in each packet. There are 12 burgers in each box. She buys exactly the same number of cheese slices and burgers. How many packets of cheese slices and burgers does she need to buy? So, um, let's just... Um, Let's just state our work in really clear. Let's deal with the cheese first of all, okay? Okay, if she buys one packet, she gets 20. If she buys two packets, she gets 40. If she buys three packets, she gets 60. If she buys four packets, she gets 80, etc. Let's just move on to the burgers just to see if we can get them to overlap. So if she buys one, she gets 12. Two, she gets 24. Three, she gets 36. Four, she gets 48. And five, she gets... Uh, 60. So, um, the first time where we get the same number of cheese slices and burgers is 60. Now, it, there are other answers later down uh, in this combination, but 60 is the first one. So, you'd have to assume for the purposes of this question, how many, um, so, uh, it's 60 is the same. Now, the, the answer is not 60. It's asking us how many packets of cheese slices. So, one packet, two packet, three packets of cheese slices. And how many packets of burgers? One, two, three, four, five. So five boxes of burgers, okay? Now, it then says Rita wants to put one cheese slice and one burger into each roll. She wants to use all the cheese slices and all the burgers. How many bread rolls does Rita need? Well, you've got the answer up here. Um, clearly, it's 60. Because if you buy three packets of cheese, you get 60 cheese. If you buy five boxes of burgers, you get 60. So therefore, she must need 60 bread rolls. It's simple and straightforward from what you've done above.